another unboxing. Let's go. Hey, book babe. I want to pace myself a little bit, so today we have three owl crates and one Illumin crate because I haven't opened an Illumin crate in like freaking years. We're gonna do that today. If you're new here, hello. We love doing unboxings on this channel and gorgeous special editions. Usually I read the special editions before I receive them in the box like as an art or something, but that is not always the case. I've let these books stacked up. Y'all know if you've been here before, I let them stack up for a few months and then I unbox them. Your girl has plenty of books to read on her own. <laughs> Whoa. I don't even know what this is. The Principle of Moments. I heard about this book coming up and I was so excited. It is sci-fi. It is very fantasy, of course, but it is not just set in Europe like a lot of other fantasy books. My favorite kind of grand space opera where anything can happen and usually does at great speed. I saw the artist work, like not for this book, but just in general, and it looked like so good, like it was gonna be stunning. And I wanna try books set in different different places in the world, you know? Not just always London, not just always like Scotland, France. <laughs> Look at this chunky book. She is chubby for sure. She is heavy and I really like that. I really love heavy books because they feel like more quality to me anyway. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is feeling a little Star Wars-esque. Look at the end papers. That is so pretty. I really like it. I'm so curious about this book. No reverse dust jacket. The bottom set says, a love letter to black readers of sci-fi. The principle of moments is a symphonic century spanning adventure, unmissable for fans of the spacefaring found family of Becky Chambers, the alternate London of V.E. Schwab, and the climate craft of N.K. Jemison. That's actually another book I really want to read, the fifth season. I'm so curious about that book. Look at the pretty stars. Oh, and it's all on three edges. I know Illumicrate editions are stunning. I just haven't been interested in every single one. So there we have a quote. Courage is the only thing stronger than fear and love is the thread that holds the atoms of this universe together. Sounds so nice. Different end papers in the back. And I'm surprised Illumicrate doesn't include like, oh, this is our September one or this is our February thing or anything like that. I have no idea where this is from, like what month this is from. It is also signed and like a publishing paper that says it was published in 2023 for Illumicrate. Oh my gosh, this might've been from winter or fall of 2023. So that just tells you it's been a hot minute since I've opened a book. I will crate. I will crate. <gasps> Y'all will not believe what this is. Love at first bite. That is right. This is going to be bride. This is going to be an Allie Hazelwood book. Hold a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay. 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 I don't know how to feel about this. <laughs> Interesting take, Elkrate. February adult fantasy. This is supposed to be a paranormal romance. It's pair romance. Which is really surprising because Allie Hazelwood normally does contemporary romance, if I'm correct. But the point is she does just romance, more like modern-esque romance. So everyone was super surprised when she announced a pair romance. Personally, I love like a forbidden werewolf vampire story and it's been a while. So I was down for this book and I was down for an Elkrate special edition of this book because I tend to really like their editions. They, they don't really go super heavy character based. And because the original is super character based, I was like, okay, great. They'll go with symbols and embellishments more than just character art. It turns out they did it. And I'm really surprised this is the cover when it's a darker romance. Well, it's not dark romance, but it's fantasy brooding romance. So this is super Bridgerton, <laughs> something more sweet. I am bummed out that there are no sprayed edges. The last two months, I did skip my owl crates because I'm kind of tired of them not doing more stenciled or embellished edges. They're doing sprayed or just none. This is like my fourth book that is just not sprayed at all. Character art <laughs> looks very modern actually than what I expected. Like they're in jeans. Tell me he doesn't look like Ron and Lynch from the Raven Boys. <laughs> he kind of looks like it. She looks like she has like pointy ears, kind of like the old school vampires used to have. We have a kitten in the bake. A spicy scene. Not like insanely spicy that it would be like blurred or banned here. Or... Aww. There they are together. He is the werewolf. She is the vampire. They're not supposed to be in love because they're natural nemesis. Yes. This is what I was hoping for. <gasps> yes. Oh my gosh. 
could this be the first time that I primarily used the reverse jacket instead of the other one because this is what I wanted. This is great. We're just gonna have to try it on. I also kind of love that he looks like Ronin. It might give me a sweet spot for our werewolf if he looks like Ronin because Ronin is like one of my favorite characters ever. Yes, this is more like it. This is what I wanted. That is so nice. I still would have loved some edges for this book. At this point, I think I would have just gotten the original if that was the case, but I do like that the art is more real. I really commend this artist. I love the little arc around here. The title, the fact that it's still red like the original bride, and we have a good quote in the back. I would take anything she chose to give me. The tiniest fraction of her entire world. I love a character that's obsessed with her type of thing. This is what like the inside of the page would look like with the reverse dust jacket. I definitely prefer this cover over the other one. Like, I could totally see this on my shelf. I could see myself putting this out when it's fall like spooky season and having it there like in the background as soon as I finally get shelves. Win. By the way, book babe, if you are enjoying this unboxing and these shenanigans and you're not yet subscribed, you can boop the subscribe button to hang out some more, chat with me, and of course support the channel. Another out quick. <gasps> Y'all! Ah! It's Ruthless Vows. Can you believe I have not read Ruthless Vows yet? I received the arc for Divine Rivals, so I was already really anticipating Ruthless Vows before it even came out. Then a lot of people became obsessed with it. I highly recommend it if you have not yet read it. And I still haven't read Ruthless Vows. It is the special edition, the companion that goes with Divine Rivals. I loved Divine Rivals and I liked it so much. I knew I wanted a special edition. Although I knew Fairy Loot was doing one and I know that one's super popular. Like I said, I am not a huge character based cover person. So I knew I would go Owl Crate and they did not disappoint. That edition is stunning. It has like beautiful work inside, the edges. I just really liked it. Of course, I had to get its companion. That one was included in their monthly box, but usually their sequels and on are separate sales. So when Ruthless Vows came out, <gasps> she's heavy. Is this a big book? This looks like giant. This is, looks bigger than I expected her sequel to be. But we have a sword, whatever that means. This time we finally have the violins on the sides. It was so funny when I first got the book, I was like, why is it pink? And like, why do we have harps? I completely forgot that we have gods feuding and music plays a huge role because I had read it beforehand and the special edition was obviously sent even after. I completely forgot. This time I remember, I know why there are violins in the background. It's gonna look so great with its companion. Write me a story where there is no ending. Write to me and fill my empty spaces. Rebecca Ross is just killing us with this romance. Wow, look at the end papers. Why do I feel like I just want a bread and breakfast? with this type of wallpaper because I'm 80. Inside, I'm 80. There we go. So this is why, despite our mundane lives, perhaps we make our own magic with words. I love that. Rebecca Ross is really about storytelling from the heart and really putting the center of your heart in your writing. I feel like a lot of her quotes reflect that. Look, it's a journalist tag. I love that. Something that I love that Alcrete does is this. Their signature page is always so pretty and it has these designs on it from the artist and we have a letter. I believe our edition actually has bonus content. The Divine Rivals book also has bonus content that I have not yet read because I forgot. I'm gonna have to go back and read that bonus content. My gosh, we have a reverse dash jacket. Love. Look at them. Look the World War One romance lives. That sounds bad. We have the beautiful Rebecca Ross back here. One day I shall meet her. I know that she's also doing a writing seminar in the spring, which is amazing. One day I'll, I'll join those things too. You know, it would be really cool to write something someday too. Even though we know it's hard out there, it's hard. I can't wait to show it off with its companion book. Our last box. Slice and dice. Oh, interesting. Love and Power, December Adult Fantasy. 
You guys, I did not think I was this behind. I think we unboxed like January and February already. I did not think I still had anything left from December. Apparently we do. The Serpent and the Wings of Night. Interesting cover. I don't know how to feel quite yet about it. This has been on my TBR and I believe it was indie published and then it was picked up by a bigger publishing company. They were going to redo the covers and so a lot of special editions started doing their own as well. I really liked both versions and I think I might like those more than this one because it's just so blue but I kind of like having the other color. I love all the symbols we have all around it but it's just not as vibrant as I thought it would be compared to the original cover. Anyways, for humans or vampires, the rules of survival are the same. Never trust, never yield, and always, always guard your heart. I'm excited to try this one. It's giving Asriel Shadow Daddy vibes because he has some wings there. This is really gorgeous. I really like the end papers and everything this artist did. The front says, you cannot accomplish anything in this world without power. The back says, I give you my body, I give you my blood, I give you my soul, I give you my heart. From this night until the end of nights, from daybreak until our days are broken, your soul is my soul, your heart is my heart, your pain is my pain, I bind myself to you. There is the pledge. That's beautiful. Why do I kind of want some angeled winged hottie pledging himself to me? <laughs> just like this and I don't know what that says about me and here's the front beautiful end papers so this is what I mean like I'll create this is just sprayed and I also hate when this happens look at that look at that little piece that's just cut off let me darken this so you can see that it has all that nice embellishment and the letter they signed it right here Ooh, look at our reverse dust jacket <gasps> wingspan matters. This is so nice. Why did I think the background was like San Francisco bridge for a second? <laughs> it's a pillar. It's kind of giving me like throwbacks to the early 2000s where fantasy type of art was really popular. This is so nice. This is our gorgeous haul. You can definitely see we have like some blue themes going on without meaning to. We ended up with a color theme. <laughs> Let me know your favorite. What was your favorite edition? I'm honestly having a hard time picking because I like this cover but maybe it's because I like that I have a another option than the original one. I love what the artist did overall on these two. Like we have our stenciled edges, we have all the gorgeous art. I might lean more toward the principle of moments, which is funny because it's character art, but it's just so gorgeous and super detailed. Really excited to read both. Although knowing me, I'm in a bit of a thriller mood, so I might actually go for Bride, even though I did hear it is more funny than a lot of people expected. So there's our unboxing for this month. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed it with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!